I think that the same thing that got people excited seeing the Twitter feeds coming out of the Arab Spring um, is um, the only way to replicate that experience in understanding the American Revolution is to look at the newspapers. And so for an average reader, this is extremely exciting. I mean, uh, but one advantage that you have over uh, hearing the news today is that we don't know what the eventual outcome is going to be. That's all in the future for us. When we look at the newspapers of the 18th century, we have the benefit of hindsight, of saying to ourselves, we know how this is going to turn out. What is the initial reaction of people to this event? And so you look at the newspapers and you find that out. So I, I think that, that, that looking at the newspapers just gives you this magnificent feeling of, okay, if I'm sitting in a tavern in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, and I'm reading about these things that are happening in Boston and beyond, how am I going to interpret this and think about the ways in which this is going to affect my life? How is that going to compel the men of Concord to eventually take up arms in response to the news that they've been reading about for the last few years? To see that process unfolding in the newspapers and for um, and for an average reader to put themselves in the mindset of a newspaper reader of the 18th century and think about these issues, I think that process is extraordinary and I think um, it's going to be one of the exciting things about reading this book.